Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to give a quick update on a Windows topic. Happens to be I do make uh, some videos also about uh, Windows. I use Windows myself on my home computer. Not a big fan, still a user. And that's the reason why like sometimes uh, on my YouTube home tab, uh, some stuff about a Windows appears. And right now there was a recent update from Windows uh, for Windows 11, which came with uh, one bug and one new feature in a perspective from the Microsoft, which again made users pretty much uh, go insane and talk all sort of the bad stuff about the Microsoft and the Windows and, and uh, all of the applied policies. And again and again, we get those conversations about switching over. Uh, somehow, I don't know why, but whenever we talk about moving away from the Windows, nobody really, at least I don't hear any conversations on moving to Mac, Mac OS. Uh, I personally love it. Uh, mostly all of the videos and all of the conversations are about like, hey, let's move to the Linux. And then there's like all sort of different distributions where each of them is more or less uh, user friendly. So let's actually take a look on 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 the bugs that we got and the first one is windows 11 latest update includes a free file explorer flashbang bug for dark mode users wanting to relive their early counter-strike days i also did play a lot of counter-strike um years ago not so much anymore and uh basically it's very much uh simple there is also a, a sample video so you have a dark team i'm not gonna let me zoom it in uh, like this you have a dark team file explorer open uh, 32 inch OLED monitor as primary display and then whenever you are I guess switching some tabs or whatever you get this white flash which happens as a flashback and I don't know like like this made so much noise in the internet like this flash it is a bug it's apparently is going to be fixed but is it really such a big thing uh, in, in, in the scale of uh, Microsoft and scale of uh, Windows operating system, which is absolutely majority of the computers. I don't know. Um, I no. Oh, 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 actually, I just noticed your device needs to restart to install updates. Select the time to restart. I just wanted to say that I didn't experience any problems myself, but apparently I just don't have this uh, recent update that was released and the second thing that's more like i agree uh microsoft is turning windows 11 notepad into ai toy with the streaming where you watch ai text type itself and there are multiple examples like classic notepad and then you have this and uh, different options of uh insert and generate some text there were also options like customize or rewrite uh, make a paragraph or academic or marketing or poetry or business uh those are i don't know let, let me open uh notepad yeah i have some 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 stuff here so let me close this i really do enjoy the regular notepad I don't even like all of these like headings, some pop-ups model windows with some formatting tutorials. I don't need it. Just give me a plain, clear, empty, without any functionality sheet of paper where I can write. With all of this mess, it seems like people will more start to use uh, this stuff again to make some notes this one is dirty um yeah like i don't know the ai thing is is a thing uh, windows 11 windows 12 is going to be much much worse copilot being like injected in all of the things that uh, that you use in a windows soon i strongly believe there will not be any simple exit out of this case and that's that's the main reason why people are more and more talking about moving to the linux i personally I have a, I use WSL on all my Linux just for my uh, tests wherever I need all sort of the Linux. But if we talk about a desktop and, and using Linux on a desktop, I'm not so sure about it. Maybe my understanding about all of that stuff is outdated. I'm worried about two things running mainly this application, Adobe Premiere Pro, 
I'm not sure if that works on Linux. I have, uh, um, I'm suspecting that not too well, if at all. And the second thing is games. I do play some games uh, sometimes, and I don't want to get in a situation whenever you open some game on a Linux and it just doesn't work. But as far as I've seen on the on the other YouTube videos and headlines, gaming is kind of a thing nowadays on the Linux as well. So let me know what you think uh, about all of this stuff. Have you noticed some bugs on, on Windows, Windows 11, latest updates? Does that really bother you? Do you plan to switch uh, operating system? Maybe already did. So just let me know in the comments. Thank you for, for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.